Thank you, Jesus. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. He is exalted, the King is exalted on high. I will praise Him. He is exalted, forever exalted, and I will praise Your name. He is Lord, forever His truth shall reign. on high. He is exalted, the King is exalted on high. I will praise Him. He is exalted, forever exalted, and I will praise Your name. someone else do it. Amen. But you know, we have a pastor that knows how to do things. Amen. Make it plain. You no. Know, I was just looking at just looking at some of some of his, his accomplishments. Amen. You know, nine books. First one, the angels. Uh -huh. Oh, that's a deep subject, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> and the second one, who was the Satan in Heaven mm -mm -mm. and his earthly works. That's wow. the second one. Third one, who was Christ before he came to earth? Amen. You know, he, he got some deep subjects mm -hmm. here, though. <laughs> you know, some some someday you know we should get to, get with the pastor and say, Pastor, you know, they, they those some deep books that you might need to explain them to us. <laughs> well, be better if we if we purchase them. And it really wouldn't be <laughs> But in the, well, I'm not going to go through all of it. Amen. I'm going to go through one more. The unsealing of the last things. Wow. You know, we, as I said, we have a pastor that we don't have to be ashamed of. He could represent us. Yes, yes. Anywhere. Amen. He could represent us in, at the White House. Oh, my goodness. Oh, can he represent us? Dad. Yes. <laughs> but, but he could represent us not only in the White House, but he could represent us in Paris. Amen. And you know we thank God for having such a dynamic pastor. Amen. So right now, let's re 
receive our pastor by resting on our feet. Amen. Pastor Elijah L. Peel. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Uh, Elder Joseph, uh, give him a big hand. Thank oh, God yeah. for sharing uh, with us. Everyone, let's bow our heads to the Lord. Heavenly Father, God, we thank you, Lord, for your presence. Father, we thank you for every individual, Father, that you have chosen, Father, to be here at this specific time, God, in order to celebrate you, celebrate your name, celebrate your presence. Father, I thank you, God, for giving each one of us strength of mind and and will of heart and, and blessing us with health, Father, that we might be healthy and, and Lord, keeping us, Father, hallelujah, in the midst of whatever our processes are. God, we thank you for thank that. You. Thank Father, you. we ask, Lord, that you would anoint these lips of clay and that you would cause a word, Father, to come forth, God, that would bless someone or that would touch their heart, Lord, that would give them greater instruction on some area of life. God, that they need it. And Lord, we thank you thank and we you. praise you for it right now. In Amen. Jesus' name. Everybody say, in Jesus', in Jesus name. name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. We thank the Lord for being here today and thank God for um, everyone that God has blessed uh, to be here. Thank the Lord for uh, Pastor. Again, everybody give him a big yeah. hand. Elder Daniels yeah. for uh, giving a beautiful and uh, illustrious introduction. Yes. Praise the Lord. I used to say uh, uh, Miss V had the golden tongue, but I got to say he has the golden tongue now. <laughs> Praise the I Lord. See, he, I see. He's, 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 he's walking, he's, he walked it on down memory lane. All right. Praise the Lord. Amen. We thank God for him. Give him a big hand. Thank Amen. God for him. I consider Elder Joseph, our, I feel honored and really blessed, really, to have him as being a part of us. Amen. And uh, he's such a blessing to me. We talk and, and share with each other, and it's, it's just so good to have a a brother in Christ yes, that has man. a kindred mm -hmm. heart and spirit, especially Amen. for a pastor and a minister. Yes. Sometimes you need somebody, the preacher needs somebody to talk to. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. And so Elder Joseph is just that kind of uh, man. He's Amen. just that kind of individual that knows how to listen, you know, and uh, then at the same time he knows how to give a, uh, a very strategic response. So I think <laughs> before you know, Praise the Lord. I thank God for the Lord. He's a gift Amen. actually to me. And I and I see him as such a such a blessing. Amen. Such a blessing. The fellowship is usually wonderful when we talk uh, with each other. Praise the Lord. Thank God for my nightingale from South yeah. America. Yeah. Everybody give her a big hand. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Thank you for her a celebratory part of our worship service yeah. here at Perfecting the Kingdom International. We thank you, sweetheart, for Amen. sharing and, and blessing us with your testimony and, and just exhorting us and Amen. encouraging our hearts. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank God for our soloist, Miss Irene Pope. Get Amen. her a big Amen. hand. Praise the Lord. Amen. She sing that song beautifully. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, Irene, for yes. that song. Praise the Lord and your, your gift and what you're sharing with us. It is a blessing to Amen. us. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank God for Mrs. B conducting our service, yeah. our praise and worship. She did yeah. a great job. So yeah. Praise the Lord. Thank you for reading the mission statement and the vision statement. I know yeah. we're small right now, and to some of y'all, it doesn't make any sense, but we're going somewhere. Mm -hmm. Amen. Right? Amen. We so, somewhere. you know, we're not just where we are, but we're on our way, you know, Amen. somewhere. We are. All right. Yeah. <laughs> this is just the first stop off of the train station, but we're on our way in the caboose going down the train track, all right? So it's always good to have a vision for where you're going. You know, never start off mm -hmm. anything and yes. without having a vision mm -hmm. for where you want to go. Mm -hmm. Not a leader. A leader should never start something and not know where you are going. Yes. Basically, a leader should never uh, start anything and not have a mission statement mm -hmm. and be able to say what it is that your purpose is. What mm -hmm. Why, why did you start it? Why are you doing this? What is your 
angle. Why yeah. is this different from any other church? Yeah. So when y'all read the mission, why we got to read it? Because when you read it, you hear the mission. This is why we're, we started this, mm -hmm. because we have some components built in.